Hi guys and welcome to this video. Kleena here and today I'm going to be taking you through the solution to question 8 from this Junior Cert higher level paper and this question is based on trigonometry. So let's get started. So we're given a diagram and the diagram is showing two buildings A and B. So we're told that Mary stands on the top of building A and that she is 220 meters off the ground and now this is shown in the diagram. So she wants to work out the distances marked Y and Z in the diagram. So that is the distance from the top of building A to the top of building B and the height of building B. So it also tells us that Mary measures two angles that are marked 35 degrees and 20 degrees and they're also in the diagram. And then we're told that the broken line is horizontal. So here is our diagram and this is building A here and building B here and all the information that we're given at the start of the question is drawn into the diagram. So question A asks us to work out the size of angle C. So let's find angle C in the diagram. So angle C is here and it's in the following triangle. Now we know that this angle is 35 degrees because we're told in the question. We can see that this is a right angle so that's 90 degrees. So C must be the last angle in a triangle. So to find C, we're going to get 180 degrees because there's 180 degrees in every triangle. Take away 90, take away 35, and that will give us the answer for C. So 180 minus 90 will give us 90, minus 35, and that's going to give us 55 degrees. So C is equal to 55 degrees. And for this question, you're going to get a total of 10 marks. So now in question B, we're told that Mary works out that the horizontal distance between the two buildings is 154 metres. And that's also in the diagram. We're asked to use the theorem of Pythagoras to work out the distance marked Y on the diagram. And we're asked to give our answer correct to the nearest metre. So we're looking for the distance marked Y. So we're using the theorem of Pythagoras, so, and I'm just going to rub out the drawings for the, the last question. So we're using this triangle now. So we're looking for y, that's the unknown. We know that this is 154 metres, okay, because so that's the distance between building A and building B. We're told that the horizontal distance is 154 metres, and you can see that's down here as well, so these two must be the same. And we know that this is 220 metres because it's the same height as building A. So now we have 154, we have 220. This is a right angle, okay, because this is we're told this is a right angle here, so this must be a right angle. And let's work out Y using Pythagoras' theorem. So I'm just going to draw in my triangle. So this was 154, this was 220, this here was y. So we have y squared is equal to 154 squared plus 220 squared. So let's use our calculator for this. So first of all, I'm going to work out what 154 squared is. And that's 23,716. And now let's work out what 220 squared is. And that's 48,400. So let's add these two values together and let those equal to y squared. And that's 72,116. So we're not looking for y squared, we're looking for y. So let's find the square root of both sides. So the square root of y squared is equal to the square root of 72,116. So y is equal to square root 72,116. And that is 268.5 metres, but it asks us to round it to the nearest metre. So because it's 268.5, we're going to round it upwards. So it's going to be 269 metres. So that's our final answer. And for this question, you're also going to get 10 marks. So now the final part of this question, question C, asks us to use trigonometry to work out the value of z, the height of building b. 
and give your answer correct to the nearest meter. Now, usually at this level, when they ask you to use trigonometry to work out a value, okay, they're talking about the sine, cos, and tan rules. So just to remind you of those first. So sine of an angle A, cos of an angle A, tan of an angle A, and then the rhyme that I use to remember them, and if you have a different rhyme, obviously use that. I say, oh, hell, another hour of algebra, okay? So the O stands for opposite, H stands for hypotenuse, and A stands for adjacent. So the sine of angle A is equal to the length of the opposite over the hypotenuse, and the cos of the angle A is equal to the length of the adjacent length over the length of the hypotenuse, and the tan of angle A is equal to the opposite length over the adjacent length. So with that in mind, let's work out the value of Z. So again, I'm just gonna rub out everything that I've put in so as not to confuse myself. So we're looking for Z, which is all of this here. Now, the funny thing is we know most of Z, okay? We know that up as far as here is 220 meters, because that's the same as A, but then there's a bit more, okay? So this bit more, we don't know, okay? So let's call this Z1, and that's 220 meters. Z2, we don't know. So to find Z, we need to add Z1 plus Z2. Z1 is 220, Z2 we need to work out. So what do we know? We have this triangle here. We're looking for Z2, which is this length here. We know that this is 154 meters because we're giving it down here. That's the horizontal distance between the two buildings. So this is the angle. This is opposite the angle. O, and this is adjacent the angle and this is the hypotenuse so we don't know we don't need the hypotenuse nor do we know the hypotenuse so we have the opposite angle and we have the adjacent angle so let's bring this down to our working area so we have 154 we know that this is 20 degrees and this is z2 so i'm going to write down z is equal to z1 plus Z2 is equal to 220 plus Z2. And let's work out Z2. So this is the opposite angle and this is the adjacent angle, as I already said. So which one are we going to use? We're going to use the tan of A because that gives us the opposite over the adjacent. So tan of the angle in question, and in this case, it's 20 degrees, is equal to the opposite, which is Z2, all over the adjacent, which is 154. So what we're going to do is bring this over here and it becomes a multiplicant, okay? So 154 tan 20 is equal to Z2. And of course, we're going to use our calculators for this to work out 154 tan 20. And that gives us 56. And that's 56 meters. So Z2 is equal to 56 meters. So Z is equal to 220 plus 56. So that's equal to 276 meters. So this is our final answer. And for this question, you're going to get a total of five marks. So that's all for this solution video, guys. I hope that you found it helpful and that it might have cleared up any questions that you had regarding this question. I'll see you all in the next video.